our latest feature is the reconnect support. Let's de dive further into it. So this is why we have Valentin with us today. So Valentin, we're going to take us through a few things with it. So first off, though, like I said, this has been a long-standing community request. So take us through some things there, Val. Yeah. So um, well, as you have already said, um, this is perhaps, or at least, definitely one of the most requested features, and. Well, of course, there is a reason why it took so long, because adding a reconnect to a game, it's actually a huge technical task. Like doing something like this in a game um, when it has already launched, it's a huge undertaking. And it took a lot of time to get this running uh, in the state that it currently is in. But yeah. this is we are just even more happy now that we can actually give it to you. So... Yeah, it's uh, it's awesome to be able to introduce this, and and I remember you saying just before as well that one of the kind of the main focuses that we wanted to try and take was this to ensure that it was as solid as possible, and and as well kind of putting a bit of a focus on it not being exploitable, because because I remember conversations with Dennis and with others in the team that that was one of our biggest concerns with uh, a reconnect feature was this exploitability. So and. It seems from the fact that we're introducing it with this update, you guys have had a, a good way of going around that. So, well, yeah, we will get to that. Yeah, we'll get into all the details anyway. So next up anyway, um, we'll go into there's there's two aspects to this new Reconnect support feature. So what are these aspects? Okay, so for those of you, of course, who play Hunt, who are all of you, um, you already know that if you are inside of a game already, and your client does not crash, or um, you do not order for out, or stuff like this, but you just lose the connection to the server, then um, it will display a little text that says reconnecting to the server. Well, this is also what we have now, just um, displayed nicer. You will be able to connect on the fly without restarting your client or returning to the menu to a game as long as it happens within these 16 seconds, 60 seconds. Right. Like you will have 60 seconds of reconnecting on the fly, so to say. Cool, and that so that that's specific if you don't get kicked out to the menu or crash uh, the game client crashes or anything like that. Exactly. Okay, and then the other one then is if we do then, have a game crash. Exactly, like if your game crashes or you for whatever mm -hmm. reason have to restart your client, maybe there's a power outage, or after these sixty seconds in game ran out, um, you will return to the main menu, and inside of the main menu, you will have the ability to rejoin your server um, whenever you want. As long, of course, as you well, as the mission is still running. Yeah, yeah, of course. So that's where, that's cool. That so they're the two main aspects to it. So we'll start uh, digging deeper into the on the fly, the re the first reconnect within the first sixty seconds. There, first off. So, um, yes. so essentially, like we said, the game will attempt to reconnect you for the first sixty seconds that you get disconnected. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, there's. Uh, pretty much nothing else to say to this. Mm. Like 60 seconds, we try to reconnect you. If we do not succeed with reconnection during the 60 seconds, you will be kicked to the main menu from where you can use the other uh, variation of reconnecting. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, I mean, this is, I think it's really great because it's something that you, you do see quite often if you have any of those micro disconnects or anything like that and you get that pop up. A, I think this is a bit of a, a nicer thing because normally when when that happens, you get that pop up and boom, you're m most likely you are going to be ended up getting kicked out. But at least now this will re try to reattempt to connect you for the uh, following sixty seconds. And if not, if say you do actually get kicked to the menu, or if the game crashes, or if you have to for whatever reason restart your client, we have some extra di uh, uh, extra little bits for that. So exactly. Do you want to go through that with us then? Sure. So um, when you go to the main menu and we see that you actually are part of a mission, like your hunter is still standing in the bayou somewhere and you should actually be controlling that hunter, then we will give you a prompt when you return to the main menu. And this, pr yeah, right. and this prompt will give you two options. Well, the first one is rather obvious. With the first option, you can try to reconnect to the server to resume your play. Or with the other one, you say that you actually do not want to return and you want to abandon your hunter, basically killing them. Yes. Um, to make your decision on this a bit easier, this prompt will give you some more information. In particular, it will show you how long the mission will last still, like the mission timer. And the other thing is that it will display both your and your teammates' hunter status, like being alive or whether they are downed or dead, or a special state, which is if they are currently downed and burning, yeah. like 
maybe if you see the state, try to get back into the game. Maybe you can save them. Yeah, that was it gives, gives you more awareness, right? Like that's the important mm -hmm. part. Like it allows you to whether it's worth it, even tempting, and what the situation is before you kind of like commit to a loading time. Yeah, I mean, if you're sitting there and your teammates are dead, then I mean, it really kind of depends on you know the situation on, on whether it's going to be worth your while getting back in there or not. Same with burning well down, like you said as well, Val. It's like really important if you can see something like that and you know there's an opportunity to be able to kind of you know rescue the situation. It's really good to just be able to actually have that information in front of you. Um, so we actually have a screenshot of the prompt that will end up appearing. And yep. this is it here. So do you want to talk us through this a little bit? Notice the guinea pigs for testing. Yes, of course. <laughs> our, our, our usual guinea pigs. With the, a big thank you actually to Chris for Cadella for uh, sorting out all the screenshots and images for the stream for us today, by the way. Um, but yeah, so takes through it uh, through it here. So. Yeah, well, I think most of it is quite self-explanatory. Uh, like, it's just a prompt that will inform you that you are actually part of a still ongoing mission. Mm -hmm. It will display you to you in quite large letters how long the mission will still last. And of course, if you had any teammates, it will display both your and your teammate status. Uh, one thing that is important to mention here is that regardless of whether you are dead or downed, you will be able to reconnect. Like, you will be able to reconnect no matter what. As long as there is still a minute of time left on this timer, you will be able to reconnect. Okay. So we do not make any, um, well, we do, we do not forbid you from reconnecting as long as the mission is still running. Like, like it's kind of useful if you want to like kind of check out some of the details, damage lock again, that type of stuff. Like, yeah. In, in case you want to know, some info, or maybe even spectate that from that point on. I was just gonna say, if you wanted to pop back in and go into spectate, because I know myself sometimes, if uh, you know, if I die early, it's just like, here, let's see how the rest of this plays out. You know, so it does. At least you still have that option, even if you have died. You know, so that is. Yeah, yeah. As long as you have disconnected in the way that the system triggers. Yes. Yeah. Cool. So, next up, what happens? when you are disconnected. So I think this is probably important. It's like on, on the in-game side of things, what is it that actually happens once you have disconnected from the game? Yes, yeah, so in general, um, when we take a look at discussions of a reconnect inside of Hunt, then there were a lot of discussions on how to handle Hunt is that are disconnected. Hmm. So we just took the very easy approach, let's say, of if you are disconnected, your Hunter just stays where they are. If they are currently alive, then they go into a crouch position, but that's it. Apart from that, they are still part of the mission. Other hunters, for example, can kill them. And AI uh, reacts to them. They are still completely part of the mission, with the one exception, of course, that there's no player controlling them at the moment, or because that player is disconnected. Yeah, and that's what we were trying to do in, in terms of what I was mentioning a while ago with the exploitability. You know, it's like a lot of people, when they thought reconnect, it would be you pop out of the mission and then you could pop back in. But then in, in instances where you just say, pull your network cable or something like that, you would just disappear, no one could kill you, and then all of a sudden you appear back in. And that was something we, we definitely didn't want to actually be the case um, with yep. this. So the, the risk the risk is still very much with the solo players, obviously, in this yeah. case, right? Like if you don't have anyone who can watch your back, you have to hope that you're kind of in a spot where you can recover. But mm -hmm. like it's likely that if you were, for example, in the middle of some fight with some grunts or, or, or just even in a PvP fight, like very likely, um, by the time you come back in, it, the outcome is still the same, right? Yeah. But at least you do have a chance now, and obviously the chance increases the safer you have been or the more protection you have around you, like teammates, etc. Yeah. So with the next part then, as well as that, there's a notification pops up. Yes. So of course your teammates might be interested in you being disconnected because your hunter is still part of the mission and they are a potential target for your enemy hunters. Um, your teammates might want to protect you, for example. Maybe mm -hmm. they want to wait for you until you reconnect so your hunter does not die. I so, mean, of if course, you've got good teammates, that is, you know, I mean... <laughs> of course, if you've got good teammates. Yeah. And like we said, it allows them the chance to, to protect you while you're taking that time to reconnect. And this is how it will look in-game. So you can see yes. the, the little reconnect symbol appearing on your hunter. And as you notice as well, the hunter is crouched down. Exactly. Yeah. Like the crouching is just there to minimize the silhouette of your player. Yeah. So, but it's just that crouching. Of course, yeah. if your hunter is dead and you disconnect while your hunter is dead or downed, then the hunter won't crouch. But that goes without saying. So, do you get any other notification aside from this um, icon to tell you that 
you know uh, they they've disconnected because I mean I would imagine that if you're if they're behind you for example you might not immediately notice this so is there anything else that pops up uh, in game to show that your partner has disconnected? Yes, um, there will be a little text um, not in the center of the screen to not distract you when you shoot for example someone else. But there will be a little text that says that a one of your teammates has disconnected. Of course, if they reconnect, there will be a notification as well. So you should be plenty aware of the uh, disconnection state of your teammates. Awesome. Okay, that's good to know. It right. should also not be so intrusive that it doesn't actually take away. So it's like the type of messages you've already seen before. Yeah. That were proposed. It's just an additional icon. Obviously, helps you to kind of like identify which of the players is the one affected. Yeah. Well, that's cool. So there's a slightly different instance, though, when it comes down to what about if you leave the mission or decline the prompt to bring you back in? Yes. So, so. up until this point... Oh, sorry? No, no, continue. Yeah. OK. So up until this point, what happened if you lost the connection to the server, like completely lost the connection to the server, your hunter just right out died. Mm -hmm. There was nothing you could do afterwards. Um, what happens now is that, of course, we, you get the ability to reconnect. So um, there is still the possibility of you, of course, actively leaving the mission. Like mm. if you leave the mission via the leave mission button in the escape menu in game, then we treat this as you actually do want to leave the mission. Like there's an active like, intention on your side leaving the mission. And afterwards, we just don't give you the reconnect prompt because obviously you already told us that you do no longer want to be part of this game anymore. And the same applies if you um, decline the reconnection prompt that you will get once right. you're back into, uh, in the menu. OK. Uh, on this... oh, go on. Yeah, so ba basically, like you said, is that, uh, like, uh, you know, once you decline the prompt, and uh, you mentioned then that the, <clears throat> the hunter then will be lost, um, and your teammates will get a, a notification of what you've decided to do in this instance. Basically, we differentiate between you being disconnected and still being able to reconnect or you being disconnected and there's no ability for you to come back. And if you click right. the leave mission button or you decline the prompt, then you are gone for good. Right, okay, cool. Um, and so there's, a, I guess there's a, the, the, there's a bit of a caveat to that that we kind of, we should bring up as well um, in terms of when you join the missions first off. So in, in so when you're first off in joining, and like we say there is you can no longer safely leave the mission after joining. So do you want to talk us through this part? Yes. So once you are part of a mission and you actually join a mission, like leave the loading screen, you are now part of the mission, you have committed to this mission. You are now part of this mission and there's no easy way for you to dodge that mission anymore. Right. Okay. So if, yeah. Yeah. If you actively leave a mission before the game has started, like there's this waiting for player screen with a little text and you press escape and click leave mission, we will treat this as you um, well, abandoning your hunter. Your hunter will be lost afterwards. Right. Okay. But it's slightly different, though, if somebody Alt F4s, so, though, am I, uh, if I'm correct. Yes. Alt f 4 will be treated as not an active disconnect on your side, but it's effectively the same as if you unplug uh, the network cable from your PC. Like, if you just Alt F4, then you will be greeted by a reconnect prompt as soon as you start the client again. Right. So. Yeah. Your hunter remains in the session. That's a very important yeah. aspect of this whole thing. That's just systemically, it's one of the one of the uh, side effects of doing a reconnect feature is that if we detect a re uh, like a disconnect that we cannot really trace, and all the four is untraceable in this case, um, that's that's basically what happens. Your hunter remains in the mission. Yeah, and again, <clears throat> like we've said with the other instances, the prompt will again appear in the main menu, so you will get the option to. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. You'll get the option to either accept it or decline it from there. But this is where you run that risk is, do you want to actually lose that hunter? With that, we're going to move on to the next aspect of this. And this is something that I think is very, very important because like, well, yes, we have a disconnect feature, but exactly like how long do you have? So let's dive in to the reconnect timer. So yes. Valentine, back to you, Mama. So we do not wait indefinitely for your return. Like we do give a certain timeout for you to actually reconnect back to our servers. And this timeout, at least for the moment, is 10 minutes. Like 10 minute if you manage to re... Oh, no, what did I yeah. say? No, no, I was just saying 10 minute timer just because I brought it up on the screen. Please continue. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so um, if you manage to return to our game service within these 10 minutes, then everything will be fine and you can continue to your play as normally. 
of course, um, if you do not manage to return during, uh, within these 10 minutes, well, then the same thing applies as if you just left your hunter, which is um, your hunt, uh, you will be presumed dead, you will not return, and your hunter is lost. Yes. So yeah. it's very important that, 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 that we give this timer for it because, we, you know, you, I mean, you can't leave it run indefinitely. I mean, matches only run maximum of 60 minutes anyway. So, you know, it's it's an important thing to be able to differentiate. You don't have forever. You don't have the whole match to, to get back into it. So it's, it's good to keep that in mind. But there's some other aspects to it as well is that the, the, the timer will actually restart at 10 minutes for each disconnect. So if you disconnect, get back yes. into the game run around for a little bit and then just for whatever reason happen to disconnect again if you go back out the timer will be back to 10 minutes again so yeah that's yeah so with the with the final points on it and i think there's there's a question as well um that i will uh come back to in a second yeah also um, let me then uh quickly rephrase again like what we what we kind of missed during the disconnect earlier about the um the part about so what happens when you know load into a mission but we can do this after you go through this part, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, so the final points then basically are uh, to to kind of just be straight up about it. The reconnect feature is only available in Bounty Hunt at the moment. So yes. reason, reasons for this, Val, if you'd like to go into it. Well, one of the biggest reasons for this is that just uh, bound, uh, unlike Bounty Hunt, Quick Play does not carry the same stakes. Like you just get a random hunter and you more or less in has, have invested nothing into this hunter yet, so there aren't that there's not much at, at stake in a quick play match, basically. Yeah. And the other thing is, of course, quick play matches are, as the name uh, says, they are much faster. Yes. So the chance for you actually reconnecting to a hunter that has not been killed um, are rather slim. Unlike Bounty Hunt, where you can have teammates who pick you up and who could defend you. So right now, reconnecting is only available uh, for Bounty Hunt missions. Cool. So, and Dennis, you said you wanted to clarify. Yeah, like the point that we talked about when when we had the last uh, uh, disconnect. So basically, when you when you now uh, load into a mission, right? Um, you, as we established, you cannot really um, just alt F4 anymore just to get out and just get the hunter reset, etc. Just because you don't like the time of day, you kind of committed, which means there's a high chance for people to actually be moving to exits in the beginning. So there's also maybe a new tactic about ambushing and looking for those. Mm -hmm. But also in general, like it it means that you're committed now. You have to you have to actually bring a loadouts that might be able to deal with the situation. So at least you can have a chance to get to your exit. And I think that's also gonna maybe change things a little bit when it comes to, for example, sniper loadouts, right? Like, so so in a team, maybe not everybody runs around the sniper load because like going to an exit, even with three sniper rifles can be a bit of a challenge. Mm -hmm. So definitely. just saying they're not the, not the biggest of effects, but it will definitely have a bit of a bit of an impact on how people maybe equip, play, choose their, choose their, um, their mission loadouts because they are a bit more committed now than before. Yeah, yeah. And as always, I mean, this is a really, really, really big feature that we're adding. And I mean, to like we said at the start, kind of adding this this late in the game, it's, you know, it's a big thing. So we feel that we have it in as smooth and as solid as place as possible. But there could be edge cases where something doesn't work as intended. And in those edge, edge cases, it's important to let us know exactly what is happening and give us as much detail as you possibly can uh with features like this um so we'll like we, th this will be going live on the test server relatively soon uh we'll try and give you some more details on that in a while but uh, once it is live i mean go in alt f4 do whatever it is you can to, to to test it out as much as you can and let us know your feedback let us know if there's anything not working as we have described here in the dev stream and in the patch notes so yeah i mean Guys, like huge, 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 huge thing we are adding. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I, I remember when I got sent the brief the other day. I'm like, oh my god, this is amazing, this is awesome, and this isn't even the only thing we have in this update. There, there's so much more. Um, but like, what, mm. what I want to say, like about about the reconnect feature. I mean, so, so reconnect basically. I think many people see this as a quality of life change, right? Like, so many of you, I assume, also probably have seen this as a given. Keep in mind, though, as an early access game back then, there were only so many features we could deliver initially with. The rest had to come later. And as as Valentin was saying, like adding something like that, uh, like post um, initial launch, is just always going to be hard because of serialization, all the technical yeah. things you have to do around that, right? It's 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 not an easy feat. So. Um, 
uh, we don't want to overhype it too much because obviously it is still a quality of life feature, but I think it's something you guys have been waiting for. We're really happy that we finally have a chance to give it to you. Valentin, Maybe you one last thing. Anything? Yeah, I was just going to say, do you have anything you want to add to this? Yes, I actually think we should clarify one thing, which is um, we mentioned that there is this 10 minute timer for you to reconnect. But what I emphasize is that this does not prolong the mission. Like missions in Hunt right now last 60 minutes, and missions will still last 60 minutes, regardless of who or how many people uh, disconnected in this mission. Like if you, for example, disconnect at with five minutes left inside of the mission timer, then you, of course, cannot use your full 10 minutes of reconnection time uh, because the mission will be gone after five minutes. So the mission will still stay alive for 60 minutes, nothing more. Yeah, that, that is actually the, the one thing I wanted to bring up as well. So thank you for mentioning that. That was something that popped in a couple of times. So yeah, it is very, very important to keep in mind that um, yeah, it, it doesn't extend the mission timer. So yeah. thank you for that. We, we will also come back to this a little bit during the QA at the end. So yeah. in case there's more questions, we try to collect them in the meantime so we can we can answer a couple more as we get to the end of the stream. Yeah, of course. Cool. 